My name is Alone and welcome to another Zero to Hero episode. I'm just swinging at these uh, bushes or whatever they are and I'm 9% in the Taibo 1 hour favor. I'm trying to get the 100% and get into the woodcutting place so I can actually get 70 woodcutting for a uh, quest requirement, the Song of the Elves. So let's get the grind on. I actually got a gout tuber from that. How much is it? It's almost 1 mil. It's an absolutely insane amount of value for an item like that. So because I don't want to spend like 10 years making a video, I'm not going to do all the skilling for all the quests that I need to do in one video. You can see here like I need a lot of different skills and I'm currently going for the 70 woodcutting. But because I want to be able to actually post videos now and then, I will do uh, a bit of skilling in every video and then I will do mostly PVMing like I normally do. But I just want to say if you haven't seen any of the other episodes, the link to the playlist from the beginning episode 1 will be in the top of the description. So if you want to do that, check that out. 464,000 woodcutting experience later, 70 woodcutting, actually almost 71, I kinda afk a lot on my phone, so it was very quick and easy. So I'm actually going to do Hunter for the next skill, but I'm not going to do all the way to 70 in one video because this skill is pretty slow. I'm going to do 45 to probably 60, and also, as you just saw there, 63 fletching, I will be doing fletching on the side with some of the money I have in my bank. Just wanted to get the skill up, because why not? A bit of a milestone level, I guess, after this I can catch orange salamanders, so 47 hunter. By the way, in 200 levels I got 274,000 fletching. This is just insane. Almost 700,000 fletching experience on the top. It, I mean, it is expensive, but it's nice to get some levels. And here is 53 Hunter. I'm actually going to uh, try to catch some Chinchompas, but I'm not sure it's very good experience. But it will be some money back from the fletching, so I don't really mind. <laughs> Look at this guy, Corona Bot. Just wait a second. Yeah, times are hard, but try to get those gains while you still can. This man is doing the Lord's work, I have to say. Actually, I did not know this. You have to do the Eagle's Peak to be able to use box traps. I think it was auto-completed on the Twisted League where I last time used box traps, so kind of didn't know that, but now it's done. Pretty easy. So actually something I haven't done barely at all on this account is my diaries. I will get to that in the future, but there was actually three super easy steps that you can get right here for different type of diaries, I think, after you complete the Eagle's Peak. You can see the Fremenic area, medium task, just by using a rope on this Eagle. Then you can after that use the rope on the Eagle again, and there are three different ones. So you can actually knock out three medium diaries, I do believe, in different areas by just using this. So if you look at the second one here, the animation for this is so hilarious, I don't even know. Uh, okay, so there you go, Western Province Area, Achievement Diary, and then I'll use the rope again. I mean, it is a bit tedious, but what the, what can you do? And on the third one, and this should be... Uh, actually, I don't know which one this is. Fremenic Area, Western Province, and then the last one is Desert Area. So, three easy steps done by just doing that. So I'm actually only going to go for one more Hunter level after this and quit at 60. But I just want to say that I'm actually pretty close to 10k subscribers now, so if you do enjoy my content, then please consider subscribing. And uh, if we can hit that 10k within like a month, that would be pretty damn sweet. Last red salamander about to be plucked for 60 Hunter. It's going to be enough for this video, as I said. And also I ended on 75 Fletching. I start at 62, so that is some amazing progress right there. I was looking through the sheets of paper that I have on my PC on what bosses I still haven't killed and the most giant boss is one of them. So I actually wanted to try to use 5000 cannonballs on these normal moss giants and off task it's 150 chance of getting a key and from a task it's 1 in 50 but I am not going to get tasks of moss giants like come on dude. That is just not happening. So I will have a counter here, of course, on Runelite on how many kills I will get from the 5,000 cannonballs. And that, maybe I'm, I should probably swap to a ranged setup. The uh, melee one is probably not great. Oh, no, 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 no. Is that a champion scroll? Uh, okay, that's the first one, I think, on the entire account. Can I actually uh, mark that? There we go. Okay, so uh, I've only been here for 500 cannonballs, you can see. So I think like 100 kills-ish for that. That is very, very quick. Well, for sure, a range setup is definitely better. I think I'm killing them way faster with the blowpipe as well as getting the ranged bonus for the cannon. I do think that's how it works, at least. I, I mean, don't quote me on it, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that your range bonus actually uh, goes to the cannon as well. Okay, that took a very long time. Look at my cannons. I've used 1.5k cannons, and I got my first mo- Can I? 
Can I please press the plus sign so I can mark the mossy key so I can see it in the future? Dude, this is... What is even... That's... Okay. I feel like... Can you just click maybe on the text? Because this is... This is not working. I'm just... I'm gonna try click the text. Oh, you can. <laughs> well, okay. That's the first mossy key for, uh, for the grind. Pretty sweet. But it took a very long time to get. Uh, second uh, mossy key coming in. Third mossy key coming in on the grind. So three keys have been obtained and we're at almost 1k KC. The chance of getting a key is a 1 in 150. So, so far I have been very unlucky. I should be at roughly seven keys. So that is kind of unfortunate, but uh, hopefully it will go better soon. And that is what better soon looks like. Fourth key. And about a fifth key in my inventory. Key number six, I'm getting uh, pretty close to done with my cannibals. Ooh, a seventh key. I'm getting lucky now, actually. Only 800 cannibals left, though, so we will see if we can manage to get an eight. And that's a no-go, most likely, unless this uh, one moss giant right here is going to give me the uh, last key. Nope. Okay, so it's not too bad, I think. I got seven keys, and this is the loot. I killed 1.8k of them. 2 million in loot and uh, 7 mossy keys and a champion scroll that we will do later on as well. So let's check the loot real quick here and I will have to uh, remove my cannon. Actually 10 rainer seeds is not bad and 3 snape dragons as well or snap dragons. 1.8... 1.1 mil. So let's have a quick look at this. I'm using magic defensive gear and I won't really pray anything because I don't think the boss can hit very hard. And uh, it primarily uses magic attacks, like that one, I guess. It then made a 10, so I guess it can hit something. An 8. Well, that's a pretty nice spec. So far... Wait, is the boss actually just dead? Oh my god! I just killed that so fast. Oh, Taromin Seed. What? Taromin Seed? That's like 200 GP. It's probably less than that. Okay, so I didn't even have to use my axe, so... There are supposed to be minions that spawn. Maybe it will actually spawn this time. Maybe I was just super lucky with specs or something. Uh, it spawns minions and you have to... Oh, there we go. Okay, minions have spawned and uh, you're supposed to hit them. And when they are 0 HP, you use your axe on them and it kills them. So it's kind of tedious actually that you have to keep doing this. But the boss is not really doing any damage to me if, with the gear I have and almost being maxed combat that is. So, um, okay, now it spawned instantly new mobs. So I'm not sure if that's on a timer. I don't... Th maybe it's just randomly. I would assume it's just random because they just instantly spawn after I kill the other ones and it's not like I'm killing them slowly. I'm pretty much killing them as, slow as fast as you can. But um, I'm probably not going to have to use barely any food doing this at all. And just praying piety seems to be doing great. So second kill... Can... Okay, there we go. It's dead. Second kill. And the loot is going to be... Cosmic Runes. Better than Tyramin Seed at least. There really isn't much more to say about this boss, it is extremely easy, and it is a free-to-play boss, so it makes sense why it's so easy, but third kill, let's see what the loot is. Chaos runes, 15k, that's actually not too bad. I wonder if this boss actually is good for endgame free-to-play players, I really doubt it. Oh, rune plate scar, that's actually not too bad, I guess. I actually got poisoned, and it ticks for 8, and I forgot to bring an anti-poison, so that kind of sucks. Oh, rune chain body, oh, dude, look at this, we can actually look like absolute chads. You don't want that guy to to uh, mess with you, <laughs> Jesus. I know Iron Man actually want to kill this boss for the rare drop, but uh, farming the keys without a cannon can't be fun. Oh, 100 nature runes. That has to be a member drop, right? Wait, now that I think about it, are actually cosmic runes and nature runes members items? Or maybe it's just members that can craft them? I, I have actually no idea. But because this is a free-to-play boss, it feels like it actually should be free-to-play. Or maybe there are two different uh, drop tables for it. But 7 kills, 152k. Yeah, for profit, this is not a boss you want to kill. This is post-commentary, and yes, you're looking at an absolute mess. I actually recorded me killing the champion from the champion scroll and actually claiming reward after as well. So this is a fairly long clip. It's like one minute long, and I was recording it like this. Yeah, I mean, you can see what's happening, but I just accidentally had the wrong uh, scene up on my OBS that I'm recording with. But you can see okay, I guess, as well. But uh, 280 Slayer experience and 280 hit points experience, of course, nothing great. But actually, as a matter of fact, if you go up here and thought first I thought you had to talk to him to get the extra reward, but uh, you actually can go to the absolute top north and there is a chest there 
that you can get some extra experience from for doing this. I'm not sure why it doesn't just instantly give you the experience because just going to this chest over here seems pretty weird. And again, I am sorry that I recorded it like this, it looks probably super awkward. But here we go, you talk to this chest, you get a lamp, and then you claim 2800 hit points in Slayer experience. So just t 10 times what you already got from completing the mission or completing the champion scroll fight, so that's pretty neat. If you have seen my past two videos or maybe three videos, I've actually got so many different Slayer Helm recolors. I have the Dark Claw from Scotiso to make the purple helmet, I have the Hydra Alchemical Hydra Heads to be able to make the Hydra Slayer Helmet, and I have the Abyssal Head as well to make the red and black one. But I have no Slayer points, so I actually want to try to grind some Slayer points and if I get any boss tasks, I will do that as well, and finding worlds for these dust devils was impossible with the quarantine. I do not want to do jellies in the Fremenic Slayer dungeon. If that was in the uh, catacombs, I would definitely do it, but not in the Fremi. Uh, Helons in Taverly dungeon, I guess that's okay. So I actually want to close up the video pretty soon, so let's have a look at the boss sheet. Uh, we have actually not made any progress on this specific sheet, but we can see that I want to do actually the mole boss in the near future to tick that off easily. But on this one, you can see that I have now gained 7 kills on the moss giant boss. And because I was doing a lot of skilling in this episode, we couldn't really get that many bosses in. But at least we have one more ticked off. So I was planning on doing Cerberus for this because 150 KC on Cerberus would be very nice. I would pretty much be doubling my KC. But I was looking at my bank and boy I am poor right now. I have like 6 mil I think and I need to buy a Samurak Spear. And I also need to buy a Spectral Spirit Shield for it to not be an absolute pain. And I really don't want to sell most of my PVM gear, or not most of my PVM gear, but a lot of the essential PVM items because I actually want to use them for other bosses. So I'm just going to finish it on these normal Hellhounds, but I'm actually going to end the video here and I will do a lot of Slayer in the next video. Some skilling and uh, for sure some bossing as well. I want to make some money so I can maybe buy Dragon Claws and all that and hopefully get a Slayer recolor as well to get in there. I'm probably going to go for the alchemical hydra heads one. I think it looks the best but anyways I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did please leave a like and click any of the videos on screen right now to see more of my content.